Hi, I'm Jennifer Love. This is your weekly love connection for the week of April 22nd through the 28th. You can choose a card from one to three or have assigned a card for your unique situation. Card number one is for folks who are in crisis who need immediate answers and support. Card number two is if you happen to be single. And card number three is for those who are in relationships. So this week we are using the Mary Magdalene Oracle by Megan Watterson. So let's get started. So card number one is for folks that maybe feel like they are in crisis and they need immediate answers right now because something is happening in their lives that they just feel really powerless or need some immediate advice. So this is a great card. This is the first power um, in the Mary Magdalene Oracle and it says darkness makes vision possible. So when we are cut off from everything else in our lives, let's just say you lost power in your house and in the middle of the night and it's completely dark and you don't have access to anything, your phone, um, the light switch, um, you're stumbling around in the darkness and you can't even see your hand in front of your face and you're tripping over stuff in your bedroom and you can't even find the door. Um, so you feel kind of scared and lost and alone in the dark, stumbling around. That is the first power. It's this darkness where you feel scared and alone. But in that power comes the feeling from within that love does not originate outside of yourself. It comes from within yourself. So the idea that we're constantly searching for love outside of us is wrong. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. We are constantly searching for love in other people. We're constantly searching for love in society for people to reflect back to us that, oh, we're attractive or we're smart. Um, we're constantly searching for love in soulmate relationships. We're constantly searching for acceptance in our friend relationships. Um, but the real power is the love that comes from within that's loving yourself and knowing that that well of love never dries up it never depletes, it's always existing. So even when you're sitting alone in the dark, you still have that love that comes from within. It doesn't go away, it's never depleted, it's never gone. Even in the moments of crisis, when you feel like your problems are overwhelming, you know that you have that strength within because you love yourself. So card number two is for folks who happen to be single. And so this is Mary Magdalene. And Mary Magdalene, this card says, love only ever expands. And it's kind of similar to card number one in that the sense that this is the heart of Mary Magdalene's gospel. This is the heart of the Mary Magdalene Oracle. This is the heart of Megan Watterson's teachings. Um, it's that the gospel of Mary Magdalene, the whole point was that, you know, it's not just that um, Christ was resurrected and came back from the dead, proving that there's life after death and that our soul returns right so that we're not just a body we are a soul but the gospel of mary magdalene is proof that love is all that exists it's the whole point of being human is to love so that's the gospel of mary magdalene and that's what it means for us is that we are human on this earth and the whole point that we're here is to love and that love is not external to us but it's within us and it exists beyond our death so it's not 
part of our body, it is part of our soul. And so for that to be, it's that it is constantly within us, it never ends, and it's not something that you have to do or generate or be, it's just constantly there within you. So even if you're single and you don't have a partner or relationship, that doesn't matter because love only ever expands within you. (laughs) It's never created or destroyed, it's just there. So if you ever feel alone or that, you know, there's no love in your life, it's, it's there. (laughs) You love yourself. You just forgot or you forgot how. So if you ever need help or need to remember how to love yourself, then you need to contact me and start following my work and my teachings because I can teach you how to love yourself. Remember how to love yourself. So card number three is for those who are in relationships. And I struggled with this one a little bit because this is golden light and it says um, healing comes from within. And so I struggled a bit to think about how does this relate to people who are in relationship because if you're just healing from within, what does this have to do with the other person? (laughs) But This is imagining, you know, like a gold healing light. You can see the halo on her. You're imagining a gold healing light kind of cleansing your insides and kind of healing yourself from within and kind of cleansing all of your um, internal kind of aura um, using a golden healing light. Um, But part of the description in the book included with Megan's deck was that Um, you could be judging yourself too harshly or the other person could, another person could be judging you. So I kind of want you to ask, is your partner being judgmental unfairly or are you being too judgmental of your partner? And think about that this week because, um, I kind of feel like that's the message for you both, um, Try not to be too harsh with your judgments with your partner or um, allow your partner to be too judgmental of you. And if you do feel like you are being judged harshly, you can imagine that, again, that golden light um, cleansing you and, you know, just letting that judgment bounce off because it really doesn't matter Um, what other people think. It only matters what we think about ourselves. So I hope those messages were helpful for you this week. If you would like a personal reading, you can always go to thejenniferlove.com and book an appointment with me. I look forward to it and I will see you next week. Bye.